In this uh, short video with the mobile A's, we'll show you some of the basic marks that you would do with text, maybe a time and date mark, doing a serial number or barcode, and uh, also how to load or what you need to use to load in uh, vector files. To start out with, the, your basic text file, pull up the text, and then you can add numbers or letters, quickly accept the text, and then you can resize it to whatever you want, and you have your text in there. Uh, loading time, date, serial number, barcode is very similar. So you hit the barcode, put in your barcode number you want, And now you have your barcode and you can resize that as needed and you're ready to mark with that. And with all these you can pick the proper marking pin you'll want to use to get the mark you need on your material. Uh, serial numbers, very similar. Pull it up. You've got increase by one every time it marks. You can set in the number of marks you do and your starting number and then every time you mark that last digit there will increment by one digit. Uh, date and time you can pick the format that you want to use click OK and now you have the date on there and if you want to add the time, you can add a, a timestamp as well. And now you have the time and the date, and each will automatically set to uh, the day you, that it is as long as your system is up to date. Um, and then, like I say, for the vector files, if you want to load in logos, you'd use a DXF file or a PLT file and be able to mark those logos.